guys, it's Marie. Welcome back to Living Dunkle Life. Um, <clears throat> this morning we're out here with the animals. Um, I told you it's going to be, excuse me, <clears throat> nice. I told you it's going to be like a lot of stuff inside, a lot of stuff outside. Uh, so today is kind of an outside day. Uh, I don't know if I've updated you uh, on the goats. So we used to have it's a mess. we been cleaning out barns, but we used to have them over here in these two pins. The two I mean, the little girls were here, and then look, Jules was over there. But this this pen here, whoops, is really made for like a big animal, and so um, it's kind of you know having two little three little goats take up all this pens. So I moved them over here. This barn used to be filled with all kinds of stuff, so we got it all cleaned out. Um, right now the chicken mess over there and that's what we're going to be talking about today. But I got this all fenced in. Lola's their little next door neighbor. They're all eating breakfast. I just fed them. It's early in the morning but it's hot. So um, yeah we got this all done up. I do have a roll of fencing over there. I got to get out but I need to put it up around some places. Um, but yeah there's the girls. We get Cheyenne munching on her, her breakfast and... Laredo and and uh, Joel's are Laredo, L Laramie. Oh my god, my mind is not thinking. I'm sorry. Anyways, we had a late night. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna try to show you if I walk over here. So my son's house is right over there, and if you can see smoke coming out. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. The sun's in our eyes, but there's smoke coming out of that house right there. That house uh, basically burned down last night. And so 1230 in the morning, my son had to bring his wife and his baby and his dogs and everything over to our house because it's right next door to their house. And I mean, it, it's burnt, it burnt down. It was a huge fire. Um, and so we were up late dealing with that. So my mind's not really working, but anyway, yeah, so this is the new little area for the goats. I have a few little patches I got to do on them. Um, and I'd like to get them a little bit better, a little playground better, but for now that's going to work. So what we're actually here for today is this. And I've started it and I'm beginning to wonder what I really got myself into. Um, so we have a set of chickens here in this mess, a set of chickens over there, actually two sets of chickens over there in that mess. And my goal is to build them this shed and then take all the panels off these two runs over here and then make them a nice big run um, and just clean it up because this is just a mess. It's done. It's not good. It's not waterproof. They're always getting rained on and then they're flooded and it's just, it's a mess. So um, basically <coughs> this is what we're doing and I've got parts all over the place, but I'm going to kind of maybe take you along as I do it. Um, I'm not going to have you watch the whole build. We just built, this is the frame. Um, but just kind of take you along with not only building it, I'll give you kind of a review on how it was and then show you me setting up the run and then like what we're going to do inside the coop. So anyways, that's my plan right now. Um, this is just an 8x10 uh, tin shed, metal shed. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that it doesn't get too hot in there. So during the day, the doors will be open and they'll be able to go in and out as they please. Um, they'll lock them up during the night because I'm not putting a roof over their run. It'll just be a run, which they free range out here all the time. And they've been fine. Nothing's gotten them. And I'm hoping with them being right next to the goats. My little Jewel's here. My little Jewel's got run out of her spot. She's the low girl on the totem pole, so she she gets picked on the most. She's an old girl, but uh, they've got plenty of shade. They do like to lay for some reason under there, but they've got shade and they've each got a barn over there so plenty of shade and there's a little bit of shade over here and they like to get in that dog house but she's just being a little bit curious on what we're doing so she wanted to be some camera time huh so it's old jewels i don't know how old she is i call her old jewels but she could be i have no idea the lady i got it for had no idea what their ages were uh she's definitely older than these two girls i think these two girls are fairly young so maybe a couple years old i'm thinking she's five-ish maybe I have no idea but anyways okay so uh, lizards 
gosh, it's been snake, so well, this has been scaring me a little bit. So, yeah, anyway, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to get started. It's hot already, and it's early in the morning, but I try to get as much as I can knocked out today. I took off, took a vacation from work so I can get this done, and hopefully you guys will come along with me, and we'll do this together because it looks hard. So, anyway, stay tuned, and I'll update you in a bit. So, the shed is done. Um, well, pretty much done. I cut these, uh, these, these vents in here, you see across the way, did another set here, across the way, gonna put some hardware cloth in here, uh, I just gotta put a couple self-tapping screws in here, self-tapping screws in there, um, and then we have to take, what's gonna be fun is I have to take those panels, these panels here, that all these chickens are in, and if you walk over here, these panels there that all the chickens are in to make the run. Should be interesting because I have to do it all at once. Because chickens are going to be out and I got to put them in. So we're going to do that. I'm hoping next weekend it'll be done. I got a bunch of cute stuff to make it a really cute coop. So I got a bunch of cute stuff to go with it. But yeah, it, I built it. It's done. Built it pretty much 90% of myself. My dad did come over with a grinder and help me do those. So it would be nice. Um, but... Hoping that's going to be enough ventilation. During the day, the doors will be open and they'll just be out in the run. But during the night, I want to make sure it's enough ventilation. So we'll see how that goes.